Hi guys. Um, so we did a little bit of flipping after you know a bunch of rain and stuff, and looked under some debris and found ourselves a brown snake, a northern brown. Okay. Now these guys are really friendly. Okay. This one's actually about to shed. If you look, her eyes are slightly bluish, but I doubt you guys can see that. Um, these guys like to hang out under debris. In fact, they used to call these guys the city snake. You would find these guys everywhere, and they love disturbed places and old remains and uh, concrete and stuff. They love to be right around those dwellings. Um, they don't really call them that much anymore because they're disappearing. However, there's a bunch of subspecies. The main ones in, uh, north, in the United States are the northern brown snake, the Midland Brown Snake, the Marsh Brown, and the Texas Brown. Okay? Now, see this stripe going along her back? Right, I'm pretty sure this is a female, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. But see that pale stripe? Very characteristic. And then these little black dots on either side? That's characteristic. Um, often there's white ones uh, opposite each other. So hopefully we'll find another specimen and I can show you that. This one, these guys range. They vary in so many colors, like gray, brown, reddish, pinkish. They come in a lot of varieties, but it's the same species. This one's got a nice pinkish belly. Uh, in a second, I'm going to hold that up so you can see it. But get a look at her face, right? Looks very similar to a garter's. See, she's putting her tongue out because she's curious. Right? She's trying to check things out. See her? Now, these guys also, they love to feed on soft-bodied insects and hard-bodied. Um, you know, snails, slugs, and worms. We found one not too long ago and we we're handling it. And the snake seemed so calm and comfortable, but obviously I wound up stressing it out because it regurgitated and it was a worm that it had eaten, um, you know, about half the size of the snake. So these guys love to feed on the soft bodied creatures. So I'm going to pick her up in a second so you can see her underbelly. Because it's this one's a nice pinkish. Come on, hon. It's a little bit pinkish. Very white, pale, pale underbelly. Now we're gonna set her down so you can see what she looks like a bit more. These guys are also related to the red belly snakes a little bit. Now this one, I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. I think she's gravid because if you look down here by the tail tapers relatively quickly and she's a little fat all the way along okay so we're definitely going to turn her loose right back where we found her because you always do that you know when you flip stuff looking for any kind of herb or anything really put it back exactly the same way that you found it because it takes a long time for those habitats to become the way they are. Under a log, it takes quite some time, and if you don't put it back the way it was, you just destroyed years worth of effort on nature's behalf. So look at those giant eyes for, uh, for nighttime hunting and foraging. Okay, people tell you some snakes, if it's got elliptical pupils like a cat, it's venomous, and if it's got round pupils, it's not. That is not true at all. Okay, there's plenty of venomous snakes with round pupils, and there's non-venomous snakes with elliptical pupils. So you can't rely on stuff like that. Same with the triangular head. Look at that, that stripe going along the back. Okay, here's another one. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about with the spots. See those spots going along the back that are opposite each other? Perfect example of uh, the northern brown snake. Okay, Those little spots are very representative of northern brown snake species. Okay, These guys grow to be about, on average, 9 to 13 inches. They don't usually get much bigger than that. As you can tell, all the ones I'm finding are about the same size.
Really nice species.